Exactly five years ago today, Godzilla and Kong clashed in an epic battle. Godzilla emerged triumphant, overpowering Kong before vanishing into the depths. No one has heard from Godzilla since that fateful day. But now, five years later, we see a new scene. We see Green Island, the home of Kong. As Kong comes into view, it becomes clear that he has grown in size since we last saw him. When Kong awakens from sleep, he has fun in the water. We see a little girl there. Kong liked her so much. They were great buddies. Kong never argued with her and accepted everything she said. But this girl can't speak or hear. We see that Kong is really aggressive. He was incredibly offensive. He grabs a tree and throws it up into the sky. It breaks the energy wall. We learn that Kong was imprisoned in town to prevent Godzilla from visiting. As these titans can defeat each other and it is a fear that they'll fight again. As Kong enlarged in size so it is decided to shift him anywhere else. Then we see a boy who worked for a company. He was a hacker. The company in which he worked, made very modern stuff as machines, robots, etc. But that hacker doubts his company. The company is designing a thing that should not be made. Therefore, he hacks all the data of the company. He gets to know that this company is shifting a huge object to Hong Kong. But suddenly the alarm starts ringing there. It was an alarm that Godzilla is coming. In a short time, Godzilla comes out of the sea. As he comes out, he starts destroying everything. No one could figure out why Godzilla was trying to kill everybody. Because he is a life savior titan. Here we get to know about Godzilla's nuclear power. With his immense power, Godzilla unleashed destruction upon the entire company. The news that Godzilla had arrived spread throughout the entire world. But this time, his form is changed. He isn't like before. In the past, he saved people, and now he is killing everyone in aggression. The owner of the company tells everyone that his company is working on a project. They will get succeeded in making a device that is compatible with Godzilla. A girl named Madison watches this news. She doesn't believe in Godzilla's offense because she knew him very well. She considers this news a rumor. She contended that Godzilla couldn't hurt anyone because he helps and saves people. Madison goes to his father and makes him understand that he can't do anything like this. Someone did something to him. Madison's father explains to her that these creatures and titans are just like humans. They can change moods as well. Like Godzilla has changed and he is killing humans. After it, Madison leaves and listens to that hacker's call. That hacker uploads an online video about that hacker. Madison decides that she'll go and meet that hacker. She'll look into the matter and ask why Godzilla has become aggressive. Why did he destroy that company? Later, the company's owner meets a senior doctor named Nathan. Dr. Nathan was a scientist in fact. The company's owner tells him that your concept of the hollow earth was accurate. This was the place where titans are born. In fact, Dr. Nathan published a book about another earth called, Hollow Earth, which exists beneath the earth. It is hidden and no one can see it. It is a source of energy for titans. There, the owner of the company allows Dr. Nathan to meet another man. He informs Dr. Nathan that we have discovered an energy source within the hollow earth. We don't know where does it exist. It is beneath our ground. As we take energy from the sun, these titans take energy from the hollow earth. If they get succeeded in finding the energy, they will be able to compete with Godzilla. Dr. Nathan asks, but how we are supposed to go there? My brother attempted a journey to the hollow earth a few years ago, but unfortunately, he didn't make it and passed away. It is said that gravity is absent within the hollow earth, causing everything to float in the air. Therefore, everything starts flying in the air. Dr. Nathan was reassured by the company owner, who informed him that they had developed an anti-gravity car. Because his company made an anti-gravity car, we'll go to the hollow earth with its help. The company's owner tells him that every titan has the ability to find his own home. Therefore we should seek help from a Kong. After it, Dr. Nathan meets his doctor friend. This female doctor took care of Kong. He tries to explain to her that we should send Kong to his house. His home is hollow earth and we can't keep him there for long. If he gets out of here, Godzilla will attack him. Kong is only safe on Hollow Earth. After some discussion, that female doctor agrees. Because they didn't have any other choice. Then they take Kong with their army to the Hollow Earth. Kong was chained. Kong's friend, that little girl, talks to Kong in sign language. Kong is enraged, according to the girl, because he is chained. The leader of the army says to the female doctor that we won't pass from Godzilla's way. We'll use another way so that Godzilla doesn't get wind of it. That female doctor says, yes, 
we should do exactly like this. Godzilla and Kong are old rivals, because both of them consider themselves king of the monsters. If they encounter each other, they will wreak havoc. Then Wee Madison goes to meet that hacker with her friend. That hacker tells them that the company is making a huge thing. That thing will be shifted to Hong Kong once it's made. Godzilla didn't like this therefore he destroyed the company. After that, we see that an alarm begins to sound inside the ship where Kong was located. That young girl has just informed that female doctor that Godzilla is on his way. Doctor, Nathan says that as Godzilla is coming outside, we should free and unchain Kong as well, so that he competes with Godzilla and saves us. Finally, Godzilla comes outside. He was moving forward to them by destroying a ship. When Kong gets to know that Godzilla is coming, he starts shouting loudly, and he was bound after which they launch rockets and missiles at Godzilla. It doesn't harm Godzilla. Godzilla destroys their planes. Now Godzilla was moving towards Kong's ship. Godzilla destroys their ships. Godzilla makes their ship upside down. Due to this, Godzilla and many people start getting sunk in the sea. Then they untie Kong's chains, so that Kong fights with Godzilla and saves them. Then Godzilla and Kong get into a huge fight. Kong throws Godzilla deep in the sea. Then he straightens the slanted ship, allowing people to be saved. Godzilla gets up once again and he was going to the same ship where that girl was. Kong jumps from one ship to another and reaches the ship where Godzilla was coming. Kong punches Godzilla really hard. Godzilla also punches him back. Kong falls down. Kong rises once more and attacks Godzilla, who is thrown into the sea. It makes Godzilla angry. Seeing it, he uses its nuclear powers. Seeing it, Kong jumps into the water to save his life. The light of the nuclear power of Godzilla spreads all around and everyone gets astonished seeing it. Here we get to know about the power of Godzilla. They start fighting in the sea. Godzilla could breathe in the water but Kong who was like humans couldn't breathe in the water. Therefore Kong seemed to be defeated. Godzilla was taking Kong into the depths of the sea to kill him. That female doctor says that we should help Kong otherwise, Godzilla will kill him. They blast many missiles in the sea. Kong comes outside to save his life because of this. Dr. Nathan orders to turn everything off. Turn off all the machines and engines so that Godzilla thinks that we are dead and defeated. Then they turn everything off. Godzilla looks at Kong angrily and then leaves. The female doctor says that if we move forward, Godzilla will acknowledge that we are alive and he will attack us. How can we move forward and how will we take Kong? Dr. Nathan says that we will take him by flying him up. On the other side, we see Madison enters that company with her friends. She wanted to check the thing that this company was making upon which Godzilla felt aggressive and attacked. There they find huge eggs of an animal. As they find the eggs, their door gets locked. In fact, the place where they were locked was a machine. It was taking them to Hong Kong along with the eggs. The army manages to successfully transport him to the entrance of the hollow earth. They ask Kong to enter and explore the mysterious underground world. However, Kong refuses to go, standing firm. They decide that they will ask the girl to compel him so that he goes there. Because he didn't refuse that girl. Kong would be made aware that your family and many other creatures are present. Kong agrees to go to that cave. Kong goes to that hollow earth cave. They follow Kong on their anti-gravity car. It was a unique world. They had anti-gravity cars so their life is saved. Many different monsters were there in the hollow earth. Then a flying monster attacks their anti-gravity car. It was about to attack that girl but Kong kills him. He detaches his head. After it, Kong moves forward and everyone follows him. There was no gravity on hollow earth therefore everything was flying in the air. Madison and her friends reach Hong Kong. They get to know about secret weapons there. This company has made another Godzilla to kill Godzilla. Its name was Mechagodzilla. Its controller was the person who was introduced by the company's owner to Dr. Nathan. To check Mechagodzilla's powers, the Skullcrawler is left there. Mechagodzilla kills the Skullcrawler using his powers. Here the issue is formed that they needed more power to run Mechagodzilla. That power was only in the hollow earth. This was the reason. Company's owner was searching for an energy source so that he gives life to Mechagodzilla again. Later we see that Mechagodzilla is activated. As Mechagodzilla becomes active, Godzilla feels it. He starts moving to Hong Kong where that Mechagodzilla was. Hollow earth was very beautiful. Hollow earth had an energy source in its mountain. Kong moves there and opens its door. He growls. Kong finds a weapon, axe, made from Godzilla's body there. He sits at a place with this axe like a king. Godzilla reached Hong Kong and now he was moving to Mechagodzilla. Everyone starts running to save his life. Kong finds the energy source there and he finds out that it can charge this axe too. 
Because his axe worked when fully charged and becomes more powerful, Godzilla gets to know that someone has come so he throws his nuclear power on the ground. That nuclear power pierces the ground and reaches Kong. The company's female owner plays a trick on them. She sends a sample of this energy to the company so that they activate the Mechagodzilla. The female doctor forbade her to do this but she doesn't listen to her. When she realizes Godzilla is on his way, she begins to flee. But then Kong destroys her car. Kong gets ready to fight Godzilla holding his axe. Godzilla gave Kong a sign of war using nuclear powers. Kong comes Hong Kong and he attacks Godzilla with his axe gets stuck in the building. Availing the chance, Godzilla falls down the Kong and they fight a lot. Godzilla tries to kill Kong many times using his nuclear powers. But Kong fights with bravery and survives every time. Then Kong attacks Godzilla with his axe and he gets injured. Godzilla becomes aggressive and throws Kong away using his nuclear powers. But Kong stops that power using his axe. They get into a huge fight for a long time. As Godzilla was very powerful so it seemed that Kong will get defeated. Godzilla injures Kong and throws him there. He starts growling by putting his feet on his chest. Seeing it, Kong also growls and Godzilla leaves Kong there. The owner of the company discovers the energy source that will allow him to activate Mechagodzilla. Here we get to know that Mechagodzilla is huge and more powerful than Godzilla. But here Mechagodzilla controls everything. He kills the company's owner. Then he kills his assistant. Then Mechagodzilla comes outside breaking the wall. When Godzilla sees Mechagodzilla, he moves forward to kill him. They fight a lot. As Mechagodzilla was so powerful, Godzilla looked defeated. Mechagodzilla hits Godzilla many times and he falls down. Madison and that hacker try to turn off the power of Mechagodzilla, but all the machines there were locked. On the other side, we see injured Kong whose condition was very worse now. He was about to die. When that girl listens to Kong's heartbeat, she tells that it is going to end soon. Dr. Nathan says that we will have to give Kong an electric shock to save his life. They give him shock using that anti-gravity car. Kong shakes and he was now alive and conscious. That girl tells Kong that Godzilla isn't our rival but our friend. So go help her. Kong goes there to save Godzilla. Mechagodzilla was about to kill Godzilla when Kong arrives there. Kong saves him. Godzilla understands that Kong and I should fight with him together. Mechagodzilla was so powerful that it hanged heavy on both of them. Kong finds his axe but unfortunately, it wasn't charged. Still, Kong uses this axe and attacks Mechagodzilla. Mechagodzilla was about to kill Kong when he stops him. Madison and that hacker were unable to deactivate the machine so they put water on it. Mechagodzilla is turned off for W while, getting the chance, Mechagodia charges Kong's axe using his nuclear powers. Kong was powerful now so he destroys Mechagodzilla. He cracks his feet and hands and separates every part of his body. Eventually, he detaches his head as well. As Mechagodzilla was dead now, everything gets back to its normal. But then Godzilla stands up once again. Kong takes out his axe and gets ready to fight with Godzilla. They don't fight because they helped each other, and Godzilla returns to the sea from which he came. Kong entered the hollow earth forever. Kong brought that little girl with him. Here this movie ends. Thank you for watching.